Okay. Now that the Democratic presidential nominee Barack Obama has been selected, it's time for him to concentrate on another important decision, the upcoming selection of his family dog. It was widely reported that the Obamas told their two daughters that they could have the dog after the election, win or lose. So the American Cattle Club decided to help him in his selecting the right breed for his lifestyle and pick five breeds that would be great for an allergy sufferer, which one of his daughters is um, an allergy sufferer. So in the true spirit of democratic choice, we asked the American public to help select the best breed for the Obama family. We had five nominees, and those breeds are all hypoallergenic breeds. There was the Bichon Frise, the Chinese Crested, the Miniature Schnauzer, the Poodle, and the Soft Coated Wheaton Terrier. We had more than 42,000 people vote online at presidentialpup.com, and we had a seven-week campaign. So today, we're pleased to announce that the winner of the vote from America was the Poodle. <laughs> the nomination after a tough battle with the soft coated Wheaton Terrier. It was a very close race, almost as tight as the Clinton Obama race for the Democratic nomination. So the Poodle won by a dog hair, and it's no surprise that the American public picked the Poodle for Obama. They're exceptionally smart, athletic, easily trained in obedience and agility, and they make an excellent hunting companion. Currently, they're the eighth most popular breed in America. In fact, they're the third most popular breed in Washington, D.C., so the Poodle would have lots of great company there. Uh, also, it has spent more than two decades as the number one dog in America, which just goes to show you what a versatile breed it is, and it makes a great family pet. And also, historically, many of our presidents have kept their reds in the So today, we have oodles and poodles to show you to help celebrate the victory for this breed. Uh, we have right here the standard poodle, which is the largest of the different varieties. Uh, this is DJ, or Diamond Jim, a white standard poodle. He's an AKC champion and an AKC canine good citizen. And this lovely dog is 11 years old. Pretty proud of you. We also have Callie. Let's bring Callie out here. She's an apricot poodle, toy poodle. She's a certified therapy dog. And with Callie, we also have. Which one? Come on out here. Also, we have here, this is Shaker. Shaker's an eight-month-old toy poodle in silver. So as you can also see, there's a variety of different colors that poodles come in. So the choice can be any kind of color, black, white, apricot, poodle, silver. We also have Streeter. Let's bring Streeter out here. It's a white toy. Streeter is a rescue poodle. Miniature. Miniature, sorry. Streeter is a miniature poodle. And Streeter is actually a, a, a up for adoption, and he is looking for a new house. Perhaps maybe a white house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if the Obamas follow America's advice and choose a poodle, the AKC uh, will assist them responsibly in acquiring either a puppy from a reputable breeder or an adult rescue dog. The choice is there, and once they decide what best fits their lifestyle, um, there's lots to choose from. So the Obama family may be adding a dog for the first time, but the presumptive Republican nominee, John McCain, has 24 pets. And he has four dogs, including a uh, Yorkshire Terrier and an English Springer Spaniel. And today we have a Yorkshire Terrier with us. So I'm going to introduce these two dogs. This is Paco, the Yorkshire Terrier. This is a little puppy who is three months old. And then we also have Gila, who is a four-month-old toy poodle. So here, in the spirit of the conventions, we're going to present you with the two canine candidates, the Yorkshire Terrier for the Republicans and the toy poodle for the Democrats. And we hope you visit our website at presidentialpup.com to learn more about the two canine candidates.